In the previous video, I left you with the question, what is a theme and why is a theme so important? Now, this is how our page currently looks. Well, not really. If we go to the front end, this is how our page look. And this is the content that we have used to build out this page. Leave the front end open. So that tab that is there, leave it open. Do not close it. This is the preview. You can just refresh it every time you make a change. But what I want you to do is go back to WordPress and then only select this W for WordPress. And it takes you back into the back end where we can work and set up a few things. Now, I mentioned the theme. This is an age old thing with WordPress. It confuses the Blue Monday out of most people. What is the purpose of a theme? And we'll talk about that quickly. Go to this part in your navigation sidebar that says appearance and select themes. And you will see that there are these three that come pre-installed on the site. One is called 2023, 2021 and 2022. What WordPress does is about every year, not always every year, it releases a theme that you can use for free. And the theme is basically a setting on how things will look, the fonts and the colors and the size and how the images will display. Currently, we have activated 2023. And if you look at the front, you can see this is how it looks. What I'm going to do is I'll go ahead and copy our URL and I'll open a new tab and paste that so we can have another one open. Go back and hover over, what is this, 2021 and select activate. WordPress is going to activate 2021 and deactivate 2023. So WordPress is using a different theme now. Let's go to the newest tab we've opened, refresh this tab and look at a complete change. We have this ugh, green background and our page title has completely changed with this underline. And you can see the image has also been changed. It's been put here with the caption to center alignment. And look here at the bottom. Total, total different kind of footer that we have here. Compare it to the first one. Let's do one more. I'll copy again our link. Another tab. And I'll paste it. We go into WordPress and activate 2022 this time. Click on activate. Third theme. Let's go to this one. Refresh. And this one feels very similar, right, to this one. But you can still see, look at the differences in the font, the text. And that is the theme. The theme changes what you are doing in terms of the font. It doesn't change the content. So your images do not change as you change the theme. Your text, the actual content does not change. What changes is how it is designed. The font, the size and the spacing and the width, all of those things. Rule number one, you don't want the theme telling you how it should look. It's just not good. You should go ahead and style it out yourself, even though the theme can do a very good job. Rule number two is that you don't want to use any of those default themes that come with WordPress. You want to use your own. And now you are going to enter the scary world of themes because, oh boy, there are so many of them. There are free ones. The premium ones are better. Don't get sucked up into this. Go ahead with one of the recommended themes. And there's a few of them. Neve, Astra, Ocean WP. I'm going to use one here called Bloxy. Bloxy has one of the best free themes on the market, period. They also have a premium version. We're going to work with only the free one in this series. So what I need to do is I need to go get that theme and bring it in. Great thing is that if things are for free within WordPress, you don't need to go to some website and download it. WordPress has their own little database. We call it the WordPress repository in which these themes are stored. So the people who develop these themes are third party developers. They put it there. You go search for it and you just install it directly here on WordPress. Like I said, there are many, many. Give you a quick overview. Click up there on add new and that's going to open up the WordPress repository of themes. And you can just grab the slider here on the right and you will see, oh man, look at that. Where do you begin? You begin by listening to me and do a little bit of research if you don't trust me on most 
popular themes or best themes for WordPress because there's a load of junk out there, really. I've burned my fingers a lot. And those that I've mentioned to you, for example, Hello Elementor, very good theme if you are using the Elementor page builder. Astra, very good one. Ocean WP, I just mentioned that. Cadence, brilliant. Neve, brilliant. Generate Press, oh, I can go on. And then the one we are going to use is Bloxy. Often you're not going to find it this easy and you won't know where it is. It may be hidden, so you have to go and search for it. To do that, go here to search themes and we type in block C. And then it's going to search and there's only one block C. Install this theme. So from the WordPress repository, we are installing it and now it will be within your dashboard. That was quick. Don't click on activate yet. Let's go again here in the sidebar on the left to appearance and select themes. And now you will note that we have four themes. So we have 2022, which is currently the one that's activated, 2021 and 2023, and then Bloxy appears here now. Before I activate Bloxy, let's open our tab, the last one. I'll copy the address again, open a new tab and paste it. And this one is currently 2022. And then go to Bloxy and click on activate. Right, and Bloxy should activate for us now. And then go to the front end and refresh. And this is how Bloxy looks, completely different. In many cases, people are a little bit underwhelmed by many of these professional themes because they don't look as glamorous as the ones that come with WordPress pre-installed. And the reason is that they take away a lot of those preset design so that you can go ahead and design it yourself. These are the tabs we can close now. We've lost that anyway. And we go again to appearance themes. And what we should do is get rid of these other themes as well. Note though that it says there, thanks for installing Bloxy, you rock. And then it says you can install the Bloxy companion. We'll talk about that one soon, but let's delete these other themes just to clean up quickly. I'll click here on 2022. You see delete here in the bottom right hand corner. Click on that. It's going to ask you if you are sure. I'm pretty sure. And you do the same for the other two. It's just good to clean up your uh, little workspace so that you don't get lost. And if you one day sit and cry long tears over those themes that you've deleted, you can just go again into the WordPress themes repository, what we did and search for them and bring them back. So what has happened to that page that we've created now? Let's go to pages and select it. And we still have these three pages. And you will see this one, our my first try is still there. If I select it, it will take me back into the editor. Now this time, there's a few things that have changed here. The first is that you can see our canvas area here looks different. And that is because we've brought in Bloxy theme and Bloxy will determine how this is going to display according to their theme. Also note that here in the toolbar at the top, you will see that there's a Bloxy icon that appears that allows you to make settings to it. But what is still important is that everything that you build on this page is still done with this block editor, which is actually something I said previously that we don't like. We want Brizzy for that, right? So we need to go one more step and install Brizzy Page Builder so that instead of using this editor on this page, we can use Brizzy. And there are so many page builders out there. You can again go and Google them. Great ones, new ones coming onto the market all the time. I'm choosing Brizzy because I think it's a super quick interface to get used to. Once you start using it, you're going to find it's really intuitive. So now we've changed the theme. Why did I change the theme? Why did you change the theme? And the reason is that we need a good control over this area up here, the header, which is controlled by the theme, right? So we want to have a nice looking header when we are creating our website. So we've done that. Same here for the bottom where our footer areas the theme controls the header and the footer styling as well. But what Brizzy is going to do is Brizzy is going to control this area for us, the page. So while we are using Bloxy theme to display the header and the footer 
and the overall site design, we are going to use Brizzy Page Builder to build out this content in the middle because it's much easier than using the block editor. Let's clean this out and then go ahead and find our good friend Brizzy.